Okay, so one cool feature on this calculator is that you can store strings. Now this is usually used for programming. So I might create a variable that's uh, like a, a velocity or VEL1. So the way that you store a string, um, it's kind of like storing a value into a variable, but it's really easy. What I need to do is I'm gonna hit, uh, if I hit alpha, I get alpha, but if I hit cap, if I hit second alpha, then I get uh, what we call alpha lock. And alpha lock will keep me in the green buttons for the string. So I'm gonna start with quotes, and I'll put um, uh, Tom, T-O-M, and then we use this here for a space, Adams, space, um, we'll put uh, is, space, um, smart. Obviously that's not true, but I'm trying to entertain people that are watching this. All right, so I put Tom Adams is smart. So that's the string I want to store. All right, now that I'm out of alpha mode, I hit store. Now I want to store this to a string. So that's going to be in vars, and notice option number seven is string. So I, can, I have a, a list of strings that I can store this to. So I'm just going to store this to string one. So now when I hit enter, what it does is it takes that phrase that's in quotations, Tom Adams is smart, and it, it stores it as string one. So if I'm writing a program, any time in the program that I want to say Tom Adams is smart, I can simply put in um, string one, boom, and I get Tom Adams is smart. So that's how you store um, a string of characters in your calculator, usually used for programming though.